Now, park officials tell me that without proper funding from the city for drainage, that during one of Florida's notorious summer months, this hiking and biking trail could easily look like this. Top Golf in Tampa is not your father's driving range. Each ball is fitted with a radio frequency tag to measure the distance the ball travels. The field is lined with colored targets, each worth different point values. The monitors show distance and point values. I also mentioned that Top Golf offers amateur golfers and subpar reporters golf lessons. After more than a record 15 years, Worthington is finally silencing his mic and taking off his headphones, noting that for him, now is the time to bow out while still on top. The Ebor Saturday Marketplace is open every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. and offers a wide array of items from vendors ranging from rum cakes to homemade bath products. Now the event here is family friendly and you can even bring along your four-legged friend. With more than 2,800 breweries operating in the U.S., craft beer sales grew by almost 20% in 2013, now accounting for almost $15 billion of the current beer industry, something Reaver says is great for this local booming market. Ah, the sounds of German music, food, and beer. For one weekend every year, Curtis Hickson Park transforms into a rousing mecca of all things German. It's that time of year, Oktoberfest. The event, rich in tradition, started over 200 years ago in Germany to celebrate something that's pretty common today. The original Oktoberfest was all about a wedding, um, and they had all the breweries that were in the county region of Munich come together, brew beer, serve beer, and it was all about a celebration of family, friends, and gathering. Nicole Winkler is the co-founder and director of the festival. She says this event has been a long time coming for the city. It was something that I didn't think was represented right here in downtown in the city of Tampa. Festival goers have an opportunity to wet their whistles on a wide array of different beer styles too. The light is our Bex Pilsner. We have uh, the Goose Island Oktoberfest. We have a Blue Point Oktoberfest and we have a Victory Fest beer. Those are all Merzens, which is the traditional Oktoberfest beer of Germany. Winkler also reached out to Tampa's Copper Tail Brewing to make sure the Sunshine State was fairly represented too. We talked to those folks and sure enough, they were willing to brew us our own signature Dunkel for this event. Really good in this type of weather here. Andreas Winkler traveled here from Germany just to attend the festival. He notes that the atmosphere here emulates that of the original in Munich. Great place to uh, try some good beer, go out with friends, have a lot of new contacts with other people. It's just really nice. And what would a German festival be without some tasty eats? That's right, from bratwurst to schnitzel to apple strudel, the Tampa Oktoberfest made sure that no woman, man, or child left with an empty stomach. Festival officials ensured a great time by offering an assortment of games and contests which included a spectacular grand prize. And if you compete in our obstacle course and in keg stacking and in stein hoisting, the person with the most points at the very end of that is going to win two free tickets to anywhere in Germany from Lufthansa this year. Winkler is hopeful that this is a Tampa tradition that will keep growing and going. She says that overall, Oktoberfest is something very special. And we as Germans, we call that, it's a festival of Gemütlichkeit. And that's just coziness for us as Germans. And that's what we're all about here at Oktoberfest Tampa. Herzlich willkommen in Tampa auf dem Oktoberfest. I couldn't have said it any better myself. Reporting from Tampa, Anson Tucker, Hawk TV News. Walk into any grocery store nowadays, and chances are you'll find a shelf or two dedicated to organic foods and clean eating. But what exactly is clean eating? Clean eating um, is really being conscious of actually, you know, reading all the ingredients uh, in the foods, making sure that it's nothing man-made, chemically made. Christina Michaels is the manager of Chuck's Natural Food Marketplace in Brandon. She says that with organic foods comes a huge misconception. I think a lot of people are really always just drawn away from organic foods just because they feel like they're spending money on something that isn't a necessity or it's not very important to their health. Michael says that one way students can lower their grocery bills is to plan their grocery list ahead of time. Definitely planning a shopping list is, uh, is very vital. Um, that way, you know, you don't come in hungry and think that you need to buy a lot of snack foods to keep yourself full. And what about fruits and vegetables? Which ones are better to buy organic? We asked organic foods educator Renata Bacola. 
She says the answer truly lies on the surface. Just try to buy fruits and vegetables um, that, that are porous, try to buy those organic. In addition, Chuck's Natural Food Marketplace offers all students with valid ID a 10% discount on groceries every day, as well as a 20% discount every second Tuesday of the month. So for students, there really is no excuse for a happy, healthy, clean eating. Reporting from Brandon, Anson Tucker, Hawk TV News. Thank you.